Hello and welcome back. So today we're going through a different kind of world coin hunt. These is, this is a 50 cent roll of US pennies uh, that I was sent uh, very kindly by um, CoinKidNYC. Very kindly, I've opened one roll of these already and people keep asking when I'm going to do the next one. I do also have a roll of nickels as well. There were two rolls of nickels but one of them exploded in transit. So I do have um, another unrolled roll of those as well. So from my understanding, um, I think I got it, I was pretty spot on with the last um, one of these rolls that I did. So we're looking at the 1909 to 1950 to the wheat cents. And from 1909 to 1962, they're bronze, uh, with the exception of a couple of wartime years. 62 to 82 are brass, and then 82 to present are copper plated zinc. And we're looking for the 2009 bicentenaries as well, which are I guess as close as, the, as we get to um, commemoratives that, that we generally hunt for in the UK. But what we'll do first is have a look at my newest front page. We'll see how my collection fares prior to having a hunt through this roll. I will return to the screenshot at the end of the video to see how the, this hunt has affected my collection because uh, I will be keeping them all because although they may be very, very common, um, it's always exciting and interesting to add world coins to my collection. So then, let's get into this. Obviously, it would be much. It would be very interesting if we started getting paper rolls in the UK as well. Right. Ah, if memory serves. This can be a bit of a handful in one go, but we'll have a crack at it. So this. Let's have a look then. How is how we had to record this last time? We've got a 1978. The D mint mark on that. I'll put up the annotations because I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, other than from my little cheat sheet uh, that I've got off to the side. So 1970, what did we say that was? Eight. Um, so that'll be a brass one. Pop that there. Uh, we've then got a 1963, which will go and be a bronze one. Will it be a bronze one? No, it'll be a brass one as well. There we go. Uh, there's a modern one. What's that? 2018. Imagine the mids to them are going to be very, very high. Um, 1974. So we're going to brass one. 1980. Another brass one. I think about. Put these down a second. Yeah, hello. So, so the the uh, building there. Flip it over, and he is sat up straight. What's going on with this one? It's a bit crooked. <laughs> is that common to find? Is that actually a, a, like a, ooh, a slight error or variant? Ask me. That's a bit, of a, a bit crooked, isn't it? Well, that's interesting. I'll pop that so, kind of separately. Let me take half of these pennies so that. I got told off last time I've called them cents when people kept saying they're pennies, they're pennies. I'm sorry, you put cents on them. <laughs> I'll read what it says on the coin. We've got a 1969, that looks like. Or 19. I can tell. Yeah, 1969 there. So that is another brass one, isn't it? Uh, this one is very, very battered and grubby. It's 2007, it looks like. So that'd be a modern one. Uh, 1989. So again, a modern one. Is this one as well? A bit crooked. No. Doesn't look like it. That'd be a modern one with a shield on it. 2016 uh, 1998 another modern one copper is a copper plated zinc whoops 1986 it's another modern one 1996 that's a shiny one isn't it 
the modern one. Obviously a modern one here with the shield. How modern? 2017 with a P mint mark. This one's a bit grubby, isn't it? What have we got there? 2002? 3? Gross. Twenty thirteen. Imagine some of these are gonna have absolutely bonkers vintages. Nineteen seventy nine. That'd be a brass one then, won't it? Nineteen sixty one. So this would be a bronze one. I believe, if my research is correct and accurate. Pretty cool. Our first bronze one, our oldest one so far. This one looks new. 2001. Uh, that's a 1981. 81, 81, 81. Will be brass as well. And the shield. 2010. I haven't got any 2009s yet. That's a 1976. 76 is brass. Modern one. 2013. 1991. Coins a year older than me. Okay. And another modern. 2016. Okay. Uh, another modern one. What have we got there? 2017 P mint mark. Oh, that's very new. 2019. Oh, wait. Very shiny, very new. Nineteen ninety-five. Modern one. Nineteen sixty-four. This will still be a brass one, I believe. That looks modern. Ninety-nine. In eighty five, eighty five is another modern one. Oh dear, oh dear, very corroded that one. <laughs> and nineteen eighty, I believe that's that's tough to discern, but nineteen eighty that would actually make it brass, yeah. Brass one. Oh, just dropped it. Another 2019. How modern can you get? 1985. Another modern one. Oh, my little modern pile is starting to lose its structural integrity. 94. Very common. Well, I don't know if it's common, but a modern one even. 2006. This looks a bit older. 1971. 71 will make it a brass one. I think we did find. Is it one wheat scent and a couple of um, bronze ones in the last roll? 2019. Very shiny. Very, very shiny. This looks a bit older, 1967, making it brass. Twenty nineteen. New. New new. Uh nineteen eighty nine. Another new modern one. Uh, 
1995 again. And not a modern one. 2016. We're having a bit of a run of uninteresting finds here. Um, oh, 1998. Funny little mark there. I think it's just corrosion there. And the zinc under the copper plating has maybe corroded a bit and looks like a little bit of a bubble. Uh, 2017. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting, isn't it? Lord only knows what's happened to that coin. Mm, 2001. Modern again. There we go. Looks a bit older. 1967. Again, making it brass. Cool. Another modern one. 2016. Is that mint marker D? This looks modern. 2006. 1975. So this will be a brass one. Pretty cool. And then last but no means least. Oh no, we're not going to find any wheat cents today. That's a 1983. Which makes it modern, copper plated zinc. There we go. So then, star find is going to be this one here, 1961, D mint mark. It's the oldest one we found. It's kind of cool. Found a whole bunch of brass ones, mostly moderns. And then this one, I'm going to have another look at it just to make sure I'm not being a bozo. But if we rotate it. Huh. What was I what was I thinking about then? Maybe it wasn't crooked. <laughs> Maybe it was just a weird angle I had it at. Let's try it once more, just to make sure. I've made myself like a right numb nuts now. And then look, what am I doing? Right, that is definitely right the right way around, yeah? Agreed? It's going around. Here's the right way. Do it once more. I don't know. I can't figure out what's happening with this coin. To me, it looked like he was ending up a bit crooked. Is that the way it's supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just me doing it now. I think it's just me making... Right, last try. Do, 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 do. Yeah, not crooked. Be more scientific way <laughs> than me going... Do, 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 do. I don't know. Let me do it down in the comments. Again, American coins are not my expert, my area of expertise. It, 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 it is looking a bit crooked, but that could just be my fat fingers. Uh, apologies, they are a bit battered today. I've been doing a bit of DIY, amazingly, <laughs> which is a little bit out of my realm of comfort zone, but there we go. What we'll do, I'll have a look at my new Mr. Front screen then, to see how this hunt has affected my collection. Well, that is the uh, last of my US uh, penny hunts. That's the last roll I had uh, of those pennies that were kindly sent to me. So uh, I'll be on to those nickels sometime in the future. Uh, it's, always, it was, it's a bit of uh, something different, always a bit exciting to be able to um, do this sort of different kind of hunts. I hope you've enjoyed it. A big thank you to CoinKid NYC for sending them in. I hope you'll all join me in thanking him in the comments for, section, for sending them in. Um, and all that leads me to do now is thank him for sending them. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.